Thank you for stopping by my channel. A few weeks ago, I posted a few videos about T206 with Toast Toy Bag that are double sand and also have a red image of T68 Man of History cards overprint, like the one that I have right now. So you can see the card there, red overprint on the top and in the bottom. In fact, they are the same card which is the Inspector Bryant's, as you can see. And that's the head. And then this portion is the uh, bottom of the card. So this card is very interesting. But in fact, today I'm going to show you uh, two other cards that have similar overprint that has T68 image on the back. So make sure you stay until the end because those two cards that I'm going to show you today, it actually shows some secret that not that many people knows. Let me first show the first card. Okay, so the first card that I want to show is this Vandal Chicago. The front is just the regular image of the Glendale. But the back, as you can see, it also have the Tolstoy back. It is shifted to the left, and at the same time, there's a Piemon Series 350 and 460 bag. As you can see, it is upside down, and it shows two parts of the Piemon bag. And other than that, as you can see, there are two T06 image side by side. So the image on the left, if people are familiar with T206, that's the Ragnar. And on the right, it is the Realist. As you can see, the images of the T206, it has the black frame and also the yellow background pigment. The, for the red images, just like what I said before, it's T68 Man of History image. After some crazy research, I figured out the red image was this card, the Richard Ford of England. The image was upside down. In the beginning of my research, I thought this portion of the image is somebody's head and this does look like, like an eyebrows and then there was a eyeball because it was like two of them. It does look like somebody's eyebrows. And then I went over a uh, T68 card set. Then I realized these are not the eyebrows. It's actually the head of Richard of England. So let me put the card and try to align it and show you how I figured this out. So it is obviously, it's the top left corner and you can see on the left side, this portion is actually the top of the castle. And on the right side, that little red image is actually the head without a actual card comparison there's really no way anybody can make out that red image and let's see the top portion of the image so the top portion of the image is the same image of Richard Ford of England and you can't really tell too much of it because the the bottom of the card it is lacking some other details to identify the card but from the investigation that I have with the similar overprint, the card on the top and bottom is the same card. And there also a little image on the left here, but since that it provides so little details and pretty much shows a solid red image, I could not figure out what the other card was on the left side, but at least I was able to figure out the other side of the red image. So this is one of the cards that I want to show you guys. And okay, this is the second card I want to show you guys. It is the Shacket Chicago National. The front image is the regular T206, but it does have like a pale appearance, but that's not the main focus. The main focus is just like the other card, is the image on the back. As you can also see, this one also has the toast toy bag also split it in half and also have the upside down Piemon 350 460 subject back similar to this one.
so for this one you can see the image on the right is the Wagner and the one that on the left is actually Stanville even though it's showing just a small portion of it but you can tell who the players are and now let's focus on the red image so similar to all the other cards that have red image like this it is very difficult to identify who the image are and for this one i wasn't able to make out the big overprint since that the image is mostly solid red but on the left hand side there's a little piece of red image and i was able to make out this is circular a red circular overprint on the left and again after study all the t68 cards i was able to identify what that circular thing was so the image is actually paul jones this card is also from the t68 obviously and guess what this red circular thing is actually the patch the shoulder patch of paul jones let me put that upside down so you can see the circular red overprint here matches the shoulder patch here you can argue it only provides so little details that may not be the case or whatever but i am definitely willing to listen if anybody can figure it out or prove me wrong i'm welcome to listen so now just like what i said t the two t 6 card that i show you it has some untold secret if you pay close attention player on the right is wagner and for this card the player on the left is also wagner so what does that tell you these two cards are, they are obviously was from the same factory but you can actually put them together like this you can also match up the Piemon upside down image however the red image of t68 it doesn't align correctly so you, you can see there's a gap here and it doesn't match on the card on the left but the rest of the image like the head and then the like the upside down Piemon bag and even for the uh, subject 350 460 it aligns correctly what it tell me is they are not the exact side by side card but they were on the same sheets so these two card is only part of the group that i have and i actually have other cards that can put the puzzle together and it forms a, a longer strip if anybody is interested, leave me some comment below. If they're more interested, I will go over the rest of my collection that have these T68 images. So I hope everybody find this interesting. It's like putting a puzzle together and try to solve a mystery 120 years ago. If you like this, make sure you leave me comment, share. If you want to see more video, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.